In this session, we're going to take a look at how organizations can use the Help Systems Data Security Suite to protect their sensitive data from both external and internal threats, avoid costly damage to reputation and legal fines, all while ensuring that these protections don't become a barrier to legitimate business processes or incur high management overheads. Help Systems focuses on security and automation solutions on many platforms and in any location, cloud, on-premise or in hybrid environments. As you can see here, we support organizations through three suites in each of our security and automation solutions, data security, identity and access management, and infrastructure protection within security, and robotic process automation, workload automation, and infrastructure automation within our automation solutions. Today, we're going to be discussing the Help Systems Data Security Suite in more detail. The Help Systems Data Security Suite allows organizations to communicate and collaborate securely, safe in the knowledge that none of their sensitive data is being inappropriately shared with people either inside or outside of the organization. At a high level, the Data Security Suite allows organizations to understand what their sensitive data is and where it lives within their network, govern how that data is shared to ensure that it's only been shared with the correct people, both inside and outside of the organization, and protect that data to ensure that when it is being shared appropriately, it's also being shared securely. So what I'd like to do is show you a demonstration of how easy it is to use the Help System Data Security Suite to classify data. Now, in this example, we're going to send some data into an organization from outside of the business. In this case, it's just gonna be a Word document that maybe contains some sensitive information like personal identifiable information and PCI data. So I'm gonna send this to one of the users within my organization. And when they receive this email from outside of the business, obviously this data is not yet being classified, but we can use the help systems email solutions to recognize the presence of the PCI and the PII data. And where appropriate, we can deliver it through to the end user in its original format. But equally, if we saw that one of these users within the business wasn't able to view this type of PCI or PII data, we could have blocked the email coming in or redacted or sanitized it. In this case, the user can see the, the original document. When they open it up, they have the ability, using some of the, the plugins from the data classification solutions from Help Systems, to classify that data appropriately. So in this case, my end user is going to classify this information as restricted. And as you can see here, it's put a classification tag, a visible tag, in the document for users to notice. You can see that actually some of the, um, the machine learning, the automation within here has flagged that this document contains PCI information. And if we have a look in the document properties themselves, you can see that we've also, within our custom properties here, inserted this classification um, value as well. And we can use that value, both the, the metadata value, but also the um, value within the uh, the, the header and the footer to dictate the policy within the system. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save this document off to my desktop. And then as this user, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send this document on to a few other people. So let's attach this to an email. Um, and I'm going to send this to another user within the organization. I'm going to send it to somebody outside of the organization who shouldn't be able to receive this type of data. And I'm going to send it to somebody outside the organization who should be able to receive the data. But actually, we're going to use the classification tags to trigger an encryption action when that message is delivered here. So I'm going to send this message. And in a second, while well, it goes through this little, little uh, local demonstration environment, um, what we're going to see is that the, the internal user will receive the, the message with the original document attached, because that's what they should be able to do in line with the corporate policy. If I step across here to my Thunderbird client, and this is a, an external user, we can see here that the, the outsider account hasn't received that document because it's been blocked in transit based upon the classification value. 
If I go to this account here, though, you can see that this user actually has received the document, but because we've uh, detected the, these restricted tags, both within the message and the attachments, we've actually decided to automatically encrypt that uh, message and all the data using, in this case, PGP, but it could be SMIME, password protected zips, or an encryption portal to keep it secure in transit. Now, one of the nice things we can do is we aren't just reliant on the classification tags. So it could be that the, the recipient should be able to receive the majority of this document, but there might be some additional things we can find within here that actually we see that we shouldn't be sending outside of the organization. So we do have the ability to also perform data redaction within here. So we can deliver it, we can deliver it encrypted, but we can make sure that there's nothing within that document that uh, violates our uh, data loss prevention or compliance policies within here. And that essentially is a very short demonstration to show you how we can you know, very easily classify data as it comes into the organization and then use those classification tags alongside of other elements within the data to control how that is being shared both inside and outside of the business. And while we focused on the email side of things today, actually you can achieve exactly the same things when you're looking at the, the web traffic, the managed file transfer traffic, and at the end point as well.